Good morning, folks. We've got several items to hit today. We'll go over what we're watching on the sun, the mild space weather event yesterday afternoon, Iceland, China, Uranus, shenanigans, and solar technological impact. We are starting with the last 24 hours on our star. We didn't have much in the way of solar flares or eruptions, but we have new active region sunspots growing in size and complexity, several plasma filaments as well. We had been in moderately disturbed geomagnetic conditions due to the CMEs that were released on the sun late last week, and the final one finally hit yesterday afternoon and evening with very low density and moderate plasma speed. It triggered one last short-lived geomagnetic disruption that has already begun to fade away. The sunspots are worth noticing right now. Two of the active regions were like the other smaller benign groups 24 hours ago, but are growing considerably now. One near central longitudes on the north and the other incoming on the south. We'll be watching those along with the surrounding plasma filaments. We see thin dark ropes north and south, with two of them being of considerable size and crossing earth-facing regions today. Hopefully those do not erupt, and we'll be doing a special space weather video on filaments soon. But right now, we're off to Iceland where the volcano finally began erupting. It is an effusive event thus far, but widespread, and pouring lava out not far from the town they evacuated a few weeks ago. Good coverage of this one online, and you can easily find more information. There was a deadly earthquake in China. The near crustal depth caused more extreme shaking from this one, and more than 100 people are reported dead in the event. The searches are ongoing. We've got some eye candy up next from the James Webb Space Telescope, as it's taken its best shot of Uranus so far. We see the polar cap, which is currently pointed at the sun, all the rings and moons, and several bright storms in the atmosphere as well. It's Uranus, like we've never seen it before. Up next is something I hope takes excessive ridicule and goes absolutely no further than it already has. They are attempting to determine the climate-relevant emissions from humans, not from our technology or burning of anything, but ourselves, breathing. I remember when they started doing gas emission studies for cows, and now they're calling for many of them to be killed, so seeing them do humans does not put a good feeling in my stomach. Lastly, folks, this is the paper that goes along with last week's story on how solar storms present a serious risk for trains. They say that while significant errors are rare events, when we get that rare solar storm, it could cause complete havoc and even many crashes. Not a matter of if, but when. Don't forget, folks, all our books in PDF form are now discounted for the holiday season. Grab them at the link below. And there are still a few tickets remaining for Phoenix on January 13th. We're going to go into some serious topics and have special guests as well. Tickets at the link below. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.